Oh, right. My name is Derek M. Gable. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not. My name is Deontay Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Say it's Derek and McGabale. Quote unquote, Tony Stark of Color Crew. Which I highly disagree with. But we all know if Derek's and Tony Stark, I'm poor. Not a cat America. My name is Deontay Jones. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, what guy did in, got well, you into Shut up. What guy you into film? Filmmaking. What got you into filmmaking? Uh, movies, obviously. My brother, he was watching the movie Inception, and he was watching the behind the scenes of that movie, and then I was really into it. I liked that. I was like, whoa, what is this? They were talking about, you know, the story of the film, interviewing the actors. It was a lot of things, just visual media. A lot of movies that I've seen, it wasn't a specific movie. From, like, just seeing things, whether, no, that wasn't a direct one. The b sir. I was eight. I, I, um, I would think it was eight. I was like between like five, eight. I'll say eight. You know how kids were like outside, right? Yeah. They were like, go play. You know, a, a lot of yeah, kids be play active. Outside. Be active. 60 minutes Screw a day. Screw that. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger? While, while Tony the Tiger was feeding all them kids outside, I was here with my freaking tricks. <laughs> tricks Rabbit. <laughs> tricks Rabbit. <laughs> my Tricks Rabbit. Mm -hmm. And I was watching movies, man. Yep. I'm more of a cinema toast crush guy myself, though. But like, me too. Um, me too. It was sort of like what, hap what happened with you, where it was like you saw behind the scenes. Ever since seeing that, that's something I always wanted to do, you know, having my own idea and being creative and then making it come alive on film for the entire world to see. I don't know, the more I saw behind the scenes, I was like, I really think, like, it would be cool to get into that kind of thing. At first, it was more like, I'd want to act in plays, right? right? Yeah. I did, I, did, I did plays for... Really? For... But after a while, I was like... Yeah, this, the same for me, and then I realized really a yeah. lot of drama in place. They they really, really? They really emphasize. I don't I don't hit on the theater people though. Obviously not. No, you guys are awesome. great. It was the Dark Knight got my eye. You know, Christopher Nolan. Uh, Pulp Fiction was one good one that I really liked. Uh, Kill Bill. I like uh, it more. Kill Bill, both volumes. That was really good. I liked how she chopped a girl's head off at the very end. Wow. The second one. But I really want to be on camera, right? Mm -hmm. So I did a couple acting classes here and there, a couple uh, theater classes in high school. I really started liking or admiring the arts in actually making the film, right? The older I got too, it was like I loved storytelling, I loved making stories. You know, so much has inspired me. Arts, a lot has inspired me. <laughs> like, like Acting. Um, I don't really have an inspiration for acting, I pretty much just... I pretty much, I, I like You're talking it. like Denzel? No. I just take a lot of inspiration from a lot of them. actors that are creative in their craft. Tap back in that really, the audience will make you, the audience will be like, whoa, I feel that, I relate to that. I would say something like, oh, Tarantino, that's what everybody says, right? Yeah. Including you. <laughs> Including me. Tarantino is awesome. If you want to talk about directors, Christopher Nolan. I love his work. Beautiful. Beautiful. Director. What's your favorite of his? My favorite of his? I know what your favorite is, but you can just say to the camera. <laughs> 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 no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm waiting. Old man. Oh man. Oh, you talking about old? Oh. Okay, Derek. Inception. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, wait. Hold up. Let's turn on the pretentious switch. <clears throat> uh, I'm so, like the French wave, Francois Truffaut, uh, a lot of uh, Jean Luc Godard. Uh, breathless, beautiful film, beautiful film. I mean, it was a black and white film. I, I love the the provocative nature of. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, no, okay, okay, the reality is I do like those things. When I got older, I really did start watching the weird stuff because it was like, when you watch more cinema just for, in general, because nowadays, you know, we're, we're oversaturated with a lot, you know, a lot of blockbusters. Favorite director, Robert Rodriguez. I like some of his stuff, the Spy Kid movies was good. <laughs> <laughs> those are really good. I'm fine, fine, but like, sure, good, bro. Sure, Out of all those movies, yeah, those Spy Kids. Those were good movies, bro. <laughs> all the movies in the world, he says Spy Kids. <laughs> Shortly after that, my brother, he joined Votech uh, film class, and then I joined uh, Votech, and then I learned more. Let's talk about Votech. So, like, you signed up for that class? I did. Why? Why? Because there was no film class in my school. I wanted to do film, and then my brother did Votech, and then so he told me about film class, so I joined. Is that your first experience with TV production? Nah. Votech was, Vo yeah. was not. My first experience with TV production was my freshman year in a totally different state in a totally different school. That was my first. When are you gonna? Oh, whoa!
Whoa, that's too much. That's gonna gut. <laughs> that's gonna cut. In working with us, collaborating with all of us, you know, how does how's that helped you? Uh, gave me experience, more practice. As long as you're like surrounded by a good team and good friends and people, you know, that you can bounce your creativity and you work well with, it doesn't really matter if you don't have a budget or not because when you watch the other stuff, you just see the all like how an artist makes an actual film. Like the fact that you can distinguish a film that was made by an artist and a film that was made by a committee. Uh, it's like saying, you know, when an artist, a painter, right? He paints either for commission by someone else to make a painting or he makes his own painting because like he has an inspiration, right? I've always been interested in seeing both sides of how movies are made and like just all of that. Like, bro, I just really love the art in general, like either way. If you like something and if you feel like you want to do it, just do it. Don't compare yourself. You can do better. You can always be better. But for Color Color, it's good because it helped me. Um, it helped me know, like, in acting or or in the industry, it's not all about. It's not just about the money. It's about who you can who you can vibe with, who you can get creative with, who can help you enhance what you love doing, and that's what color code means to me.